Hello everyone, in this tutorial we're going to use this Casio calculator to convert the coordinates values. So here I have a mm, Cartesian or rectangle value of 4 and 3. 4 is value for the x, which is 4 here, and 3, y is 3. The intersection of these two points is, or, is here. So we want to find the magnitude or length of r from this point to this point. So that is the distance we want to find. And it's called r because it's radius of this uh, magnitude. Now, and uh, the angle between this line and the x-axis, x-coordinate, x-axis. So that is a theta. Let's turn on the calculator because we want polar, plus shift. And then plus sign, so we got pole, which means well converted to pole or polar. So four, and then to enter comma, we press this comma button here, and then three, close it, press equal sign. This value is R, but it doesn't say it. The best way to get X and theta is press recall. Always R goes into the memory E and the angle theta goes into F. So I use recall E, recall E, so that is giving you the R and recall F will give you the angle. So that's 36.8 degrees. So I press recall E, it gives me the magnitude and recall F giving you the first and second values of Okay, now let's do the opposite. Here you are given a polar coordinate, 8 and 60, R is 8, the angle theta is 60 degrees. So R is 8 and the, ang uh, the angle is 60 degrees. The tip of this line R, if we come down, there is a point on X axis and there is a point on Y axis, so we want to find the coordinate in X and Y, which is called Cartesian or rectangular because it creates a rectangle. To that, we have a button here which says REC, rectangle, very small. So I press shift and rect. Eight and then comma, 60 degrees, enter 60. Remember your calculator must be in degree in order to get the degree. If the calculator is R, it assumes that this value is radian. So now I enter that. Now recall E, that is my X, and recall F, the last thing, that is my Y. So 6.9 is my Y. Thank you for your attention.